I'm going to have to explain something that I refer to as my evolutionary perspective of health. Seems like I'm getting philosophical here, but it actually relates to what I'm trying to teach. Here's the evolutionary basis of health, in my opinion. <coughs> you ask the question, it doesn't matter what the problem is with the human, what are we naturally selected to do? What is a human naturally selected to do based on millions of years of evolution? What are we naturally selected to do? First question. The second question is, what are you doing? Number three, on a daily basis, how are you compensating for the fact that you're not doing what you're naturally designed or evolved to do? That is health. Does that make sense? The further you stray away from what your body is selected to do, the further you stray away from health. The closer you are to what you're naturally selected to do, the closer you are to health. It applies to nutrition. It applies to everything. Now, when it looks at movements, we do thing, something called, it's a weird thing, you might have heard of it before, exercise. We exercise in order to make ourselves healthy. But what does that mean? First of all, exercise is a human invention. Why is it invented? It's invented so that we can compensate for the fact that we do not live the way we're supposed to live. So we pack all of this exercise into one hour, three, four times a week, and we say that's enough, that should be okay. But you're not allowed to decide what's okay. You don't make the rules. The rules are given to you by millions and millions of years of evolution.